The Calgary Hitmen had an early exit out of last year's playoffs, taking the Kootenai Ice to game six, but coming up short with a 5-3 loss. The Hitmen lost three veteran players, Brady Brasser, Jaden Riesling, and Alex Roach after the season ended. Although the Hitmen didn't capture the champion's title in 2014, they came off a very triumphant season, where the club only lost 17 times in the 72 regular season games, leaving new head coach Mark French with high expectations for this season. Hey, we're here with Kenton, the captain of the Calgary Hitmen, player number three. So you guys did pretty well last year going to the Eastern Conference quarterfinals. What are your goals for this year? Um, this year we want to just start off by um, kind of getting together and um, getting used to the new systems with the new coach. Uh, Mark's been great with us. Um, we we're happy to have him. He's been a great coach. Um, um, we just want to continue to win games. Um, don't want to look too far ahead, but at the back of our minds, we want to keep winning and uh, have a really good, uh, strong playoff run. And last year you had a really great season, so what are your goals for yourself this season with the Hitmen? I'm just to continue to perform. Um, I just want to work hard and work on my defensive game. Last year I was more of a D-man than a forward this year, so I kind of want to work on my wall work and D-zone because it's a little different as a forward, but uh, just to continue to work hard and perform and be a leader out there. And we heard that you were named captain. I just wanted to say congratulations. How does it feel to be a captain? Uh, it's a huge honor um, with this uh, organization and uh, all the guys on the team. We have a lot of great leaders on this team. And just to be named captain is just a, a huge honor. I was very excited about it. Awesome. And we also heard that you signed with the Anaheim Ducks. Tell us how it feels to be signed with an NHL team. Uh, it's unreal. Um, I look back, I think two years ago is when I first got drafted by them. And when you're drafted, it's not exactly quite the same. It's, it was pretty exciting day to get drafted, but to officially sign and be a part of the team was uh, awesome and a great feeling. So do you have any advice for any aspiring hockey players, young guys that want to make it just like you did? I'm um, Just to put in the extra work after practice. Um, things like uh, working hard and working on little things like maybe for younger guys you're shooting or you're skating or anything just to help you become a better player out there. And uh, all the little things uh, when they say practice makes perfect, it, they're not lying. Uh, you, it takes a lot of practice to get better at what you're doing. So just keep working on everything you're doing. And I think I heard you saying and I think I read too that you've been switched from forward to defenseman. Mm -hmm. So what was that transition like? Uh, it was a little odd uh, going back and forth doing the systems and getting going from be, getting hit as a DMN to getting in on a forward check as a forward. It was a little all over the place last year but I'm a full-time forward now so I got that in my mind. I don't have to worry about going back and forth this year. <laughs> awesome. Well thank you so much for speaking with us. Uh, have good luck this year. Yeah thanks a lot. Thanks. French brings vast experience to the coaching staff with over 19 years experience in six different leagues, including two very successful seasons with the Calder Cup champions, the Hershey Bears. French comes to the Hitman from head coaching position of a KHL team in Croatia. I'm standing here with number 26, Connor Rankin. Hi, thanks for meeting with me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Tell me a little bit about being a part of the Hitman this year, because you were a part of a different team last year. Correct? Yeah, obviously, yeah, it's obviously a great honor to be a part of the Hitman. Um, obviously, I have a really big tradition of winning, and um, that's what we're trying to do this year is to win a championship. And uh, you know, at the end of last year, it was kind of disappointing losing out too early uh, to Kootenay. So uh, you know, everyone's eager this year to get back to it and start winning again. And you had a really great season last year. Tell me a little bit about what you want to do this season to get even better. Uh, pretty much just continue to get better in every area of the game, offensively, defensively. Um, and obviously we have great forwards, great defensemen, so it's kind of hard to find a role that the team needs. So, uh, you know, basically just being an all-around player and improving in every step of the game. So you are from Alberta. Is it pretty exciting to be playing for a team that's close to home? Uh, yeah, it is. Um, obviously, it's uh, always exciting playing in a big city like Calgary, too. So, um, you know, it's just exciting to be uh, a part of a team that's close to home, obviously, and, uh, you know, being close to everyone that knows me. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have any advice for any aspiring younger kids that are looking to make it into the WHL? Obviously, just to keep working hard. Um, you know, that's you just got to love the game. Uh, it's really easy to, uh, you know, play hard and work hard if you're having fun and obviously you'll succeed if you're doing something you love and um, that's how pretty much all 22 of us got to this point is we just love the game and it's, it's pretty easy going out to the rink every day and doing something you love. Awesome. And just uh, tell me a little bit about training camp before the season started. How was, was that very stressful for you or? Um, yeah, obviously training camps, I'm not going to lie, it's probably the worst part of the season. <laughs> you know, you got to do all those hard skates and those workouts and fitness testing and all that. So. 
Um, you know, I'm glad it's over with, to be honest. But uh, I think it was really good for our team. We actually had a really good training camp, really good preseason. Um, obviously, that's a big part of what happened last year. I think we're all eager to get back and, you know, get revenge on Kootenai and the whole WHL. So, uh, you know, obviously, it's, I'm happy it's done and over with and we're on to the season. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking with me today. Uh, good luck this year. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> The Calgary Hitmen will begin a seven-game road trip starting in Swift Current October 31st, ending with a match against last year's first-round knockout, the Kootenai Ice. They will be back in the Dome November 16th, taking on the Saskatoon Blades. After losing out in the Eastern Conference quarterfinals to the Kootenai Ice last season, the Calgary Hitmen are looking to take it all the way this year. Currently, the team ranks in the fourth position in the Eastern Conference, and it's looking like it's going to be a great season. We're wishing them all the best here from BC and TV. I'm Ashley Taylor.